Hey Collective, it's Chatting with Truth, and I'm back with another video. What's good, y'all? So, I was literally, these cards literally just came out, but I was listening to um, Beyonce Cuff It. She said, unapologetic when we fuck up the night. We get it fucked up to He said, bet you you see stars. Bet you you go far. Bet you you elevate. Bet you you reach far. Cause I feel like falling in love. Okay, so I honestly feel like you fell in love with yourself. Period. Okay? You got happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on my right path. And loneliness, I am never I know that I am never alone, y'all. Whoever is a part of my collective, and y'all watch these videos, y'all see how many times lonely be out here, all right? But now you got happiness coming out right before it, so that lets me know that you are actually happy being alone. Like, motherfuckers can make it seem like, oh, you, like, you, like, like, they look at you like, oh, you on some lonely shit or whatever the fuck, but it's like, you really find true happiness being by yourself, and that song, Cuff It, I feel like somebody is definitely about to cuff it. She said, because I feel like falling in love. Okay. Y'all y'all about to really pop out. I don't know which somebody popping out with. Yo, you hear how my daughter like doing that? I don't know if y'all heard her, but just squealing. Like somebody is really about to be happy as fuck. Like y'all about to really be popping out with shit. I'm hearing somebody about to pop out with a new V, new car. Okay new business wow that's good ass energy okay let's see let's see what come out unapologetic when we fuck out the night yeah see when, when you finally pop out baby you're going to be unapologetic about turning up and having fun because whoever I be, like, like, you've really been in solitude. Like, you're not fighting against it, but at the same time, it's like, you've been in solitude. You've been chilling. You feel me? You had some shit you had to do, some cycles you had to close the fuck out, but now you got a new beginning coming. Period. Look, you got the king of wands peeking out. Okay? That's what it resonate, but yeah. Okay, that's good energy. I'm not going to lie, Beyonce new album, the Renaissance album, I don't know if y'all be listening to it or, or like, I don't know if y'all familiar with it. I don't know. But go go check it out. That shit is so fire. I love it. Yeah. Seven of Wands, flat out. And you could be defending yourself against somebody at this time. Y'all hear them sirens? Yeah, look, cause see somebody doing some funny shit or they was trying to with this five of swords at the bottom of the deck. But see, you, yeah, you had to, you had to defend yourself against these people and really, you know, protect your peace, protect your fucking space. I don't know if you that king of wands or, um, it's a king of wands energy that you gotta, you know, protect your shit from. Yeah, six of wands. Yeah. Somebody had to, you had to protect your peace. Look, I can't fucking make it up. The eight of swords and the chariot. Wow. Why I'm getting that? Ooh. Yeah, you're getting public recognition. Somebody could have tried to get you arrested with this eight of swords and this chariot car here. But I'm also getting that somebody could have wanted to keep you stuck in your head. Somebody is also stuck in their head that you're getting forward movement. Yeah, it's like you had to protect yourself and your energy in order to build your stability up. Like, you're like, nah, I, I got to be alone. Look what I cut the deck on. Look what I cut the deck on. I'm telling you, somebody, you about to start creating a whole bunch of memories. A whole bunch of memories. Good ones. I don't know why I'm hearing um Sex Memories by Chris Brown and LMA. Okay, 
So you got, look, I can't make it up. You got the seven of swords and the queen of cups. Somebody could be getting locked up for some shit that they did to you. And then you got the seven of swords right under the seven of wands. Can y'all see that? Okay. Because I know sometimes I'll be recording. Y'all don't be seeing the cards. But sometimes, as long as you get the message, right? But yeah, somebody was definitely doing something. Look, you got the magician card at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody definitely was doing something, some sneaky shit. It could have been whatever it was around. Yeah, because you got the magician. Look, and it still fell out. The four of pinnacles. Look, and then you got the fool again. The fool, the two of wands in the world with the sun peeking out right behind the world. Look, with this father. So, yeah, somebody, somebody was trying to do some sneaky shit. Whatever it was that they tried to get away with. They could have been holding back some information with some money. I don't know. But it is like you had to defend your energy against these people, like really leave them alone. That's probably why you could have been lonely. Yeah, with this um high, high priestess, um, excuse me, popping out. Yeah, spirit was all around this situation, though. But with the high priestess popping out, that lets me know. Like, you were divinely guided. And see, people could have wanted to make you feel like you was isolated and alone. But, baby, you turned that shit. You started working on yourself, okay? You could have started losing friends, not realizing why people could have been doing magic over that, not wanting people to fuck with you or deal with you. But it was for your greater good anyway because you realized that you ain't lose nobody that was worth keeping around. Simple. And if you did, it could be like one or two people that, you know, you could have had a felt falling out with because you're not perfect, right? So it could have been one or two people that you did have a falling out with. But that's because the magic that was being placed on you had you confused and in conflict with yourself, with this Eight of Swords here. But I, I'm feeling like whoever those people are, they are going to come back around. Like, it's going to be a mutual reconciliation amongst the both of you. But for those who, where somebody was trying to do some sneaky shit, try to get away with something, I feel like your intuition led you to, led you to finding out some sort of truth. Somebody really could be getting arrested behind this. That Eight of Swords and that Chariot is really standing out to me. Then you got this Seven of Swords. The Eight and the Seven, that's the 15, breaking down to a Six. Yeah, it's like you moving forward, the calmer waters. That's why you, you found this happiness. You don't give a fuck about being alone. Y'all hear them sirens? <laughs> Y'all, somebody really could be going to fuck the jail. Well, that's... That's not six of pentacles. That's not the that's that's that 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 was the ambulance. But them sirens, you got the six of pentacles. Yeah. See, somebody was holding something back around some money, but see, they gotta pay up. That's what I'm picking up with this six of pentacles. And then y'all know the six and the four is definitely the ten of pentacles. It's something with some money. Wow, and then I see the look. The Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, somebody tried to block you or stop you from getting this, whatever was meant for you. But you're going to get that shit regardless. And the crazy thing is, like, I feel like you, with this look, you got the Ace of Wands popping out. Because what I'm saying is, I feel like you've already found this self-happiness and awareness in your within yourself. And it's because you did the work, you went in, and it's like now you got a whole lot of new ideas and new beginnings that's about to come your way. See, whatever somebody took for you from you or tried to take from you, it's like you're going to make that shit back double anyway. Somebody feel like you depending on something to come in for you, but see, what's meant for you going to be for you regardless. It don't matter. And you got the eight of wands coming in the fuck fast. Look, justice. What's behind this justice card? Lovers. Look. Justice and the lovers. I'm telling you, something going to come in fast for you.
If this is a love situation where you had to find, but I'm not getting that. With this justice card, I'm definitely picking up. Somebody was thinking you was gone. I could be speaking to a Gemini, Libra, like an air sign. But I feel like somebody also thought that you was an airhead. Like you wouldn't catch on to what the fuck was going on around you. But see, they don't know how, how much your spirit guys really fuck with you. Wait, this is love and you had to leave a situation alone. Justice is coming of that too. Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is upset. Somebody is upset with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Then the Two of Wands. Then the King of Wands behind that. Yeah, this is this King of Wands energy. No other king came out out of all these fucking kings in the deck. And we see him again. This is somebody who... They got a lot of passion, but they juggle a lot. And see, they upset that some sort of truth about them is coming out. Or done came out already. It's like you see shit clearly. You could be seeing a lot of bees at this time. And it's crazy because it's November. It's not November. It's October. Damn. Something could be significant about November. But I feel like whatever you got going on is going to come to this. And something else is some 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 information could come to you too. Yeah, with this world. It's like you closed out, look, the Emperor's coming back out. Then the page, then the page of wands. Yeah, see, somebody is looking to get some information towards you about something. And then somebody is looking at, yeah, you got judgment. See, some sort of judgment is happening. Some is coming to some end. But I'm, yeah, follow me because I'm picking up two different storylines. I'm picking up something definitely about court because that justice card is really sticking out to me. Like, even with all these cards at the top, I'm still seeing a justice word. So that's letting me know that somebody is upset that some sort of justice is coming. They really did try to, like, have you secluded, isolated, and alone so something wouldn't get back to you. But I feel like information is coming to you regardless. These people could have been stealing your mail. All sorts of shit could have been going on behind the scenes. But I feel like um, I'm going I'm to talk about it. Yeah, so I'm coming to an end, though. Hidden truth. Yeah, it's like some truth is coming out. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I also feel like f for this masculine energy, okay, that you could have been dealing with, but... You had to leave that situation alone. Some information is going to come out about this person too. But I feel like this person is mad because they they didn't want to see shit for what it is. Or they tried to hide and, and cover some shit up. I just feel like it's a lot of shit you didn't know with that hidden truth. A lot of shit was happening right up under your nose. You ain't even know. And I feel like. In a way, you don't you don't even care because it's like shit reveals itself when it should. Somebody really could have tried to stop you from leveling up. Cleanse, cleanse your space. That's the first card out. You can either throw some shit away. 
but just make sure that you are saging your home, saging yourself at all times, because some shit really about to come through for you. Look, you got a new job. Yeah, and see, I feel like Spirit wants you to cleanse your space from now because, oh, motherfuckers is not going to like, they don't like that you moving forward, especially when they tried to keep you stuck. They tried their hardest to keep you stuck. Nothing they did ever worked. Halloween. Halloween. What's this that wanted to come out? Altercation. Y'all. Y'all. Go, go look at that. How are these cards coming back out? And I shuffled my deck. Y'all hear me shuffle this shit. Somebody, mm, 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 you could be getting a job offer by the end of this month. For real. But somebody, somebody want to start some shit. I'm telling you, something is really coming to the forefront that you, it's like right under your nose. It's like, I got to call them, like your destination is literally closer than it appears. For real. Like, that shit is literally right there. Something something is happening. You don't know. These people kept this shit hidden for so fucking long. See the truth. I mean, see the truth. Wow. I said see the truth. Yeah. Y yeah. But seeing through the fog. Somebody is definitely seeing the truth. Seeing shit for what it is. Damn. Look, you got blackmail, cash flow, and childish. Okay, somebody could be trying to gonna gonna try to blackmail you. I don't know with what or how or something, but you're gonna leave that shit behind. So you're gonna be moving to a whole different state. Caution. Be be cautious because somebody somebody is going yeah, with this therapist and obsession, you got a copycat who's mad as fuck that you're getting whatever is meant for you with this money. Something about some money is coming to you. I don't know if it was a legal system because I told y'all y'all I kept hearing that justice shit. And then see, I feel like it was court dates and court cases and shit going on that you didn't even know about that. They, like, you have people fucking watching you, surveillance, like, I swear, you have motherfuckers watching you day and night. I don't give a fuck what you was doing, grocery store, going to pick up your kids, chilling. People were watching you. And see, you didn't know that with this hidden truth, but see, something is coming out. Whatever was taking place with this copycat energy, somebody who was lying, being manipulative, sneaky, whatever the fuck, something is coming out and you're being granted something. But I'm telling you, this person is going to want to start some altercation with you. They might want to blackmail you about some money. You may be getting some money with a large lump sum of money. Some sort of money could be coming to you and this person is childish as fuck. They're upset with that night of swords. They're upset that... They're not getting what is literally meant for you because in their head, they think that they're you. Therapist, y'all, I did a video. That's crazy. My tongue started feeling funny. Somebody don't want you to talk. Somebody don't like that. You, 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 I'm saying your tongue is powerful. You spoke some shit. You ain't even realized. And, and, and the shit helped you out. I had to drink some water because... My tongue started feeling funny. I don't know why. But yeah, I did a video a while back. And I said, somebody got your name and address with their picture on it, like a fake ID. And then I also said, it was another video a while back. That's my first video that got 10K views. But the shit said, um... Somebody need a therapist. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody is so bugged out mentally that they really think that they're you. They really think that they're you. Be careful because when you do get this money, this person is going to be so filled with hatred for you. 
And after you don't even give a fuck about no money. You done found happiness. Of course, we all need money to live and survive, but you done found happiness within yourself. So when this shit come in for you, you just, you know what I'm saying? Living your life, accepting your new job offers and living how you, like, you know, how you're destined to live. This person feel like your life is literally supposed to be their life. They're bug Like they have some something wrong. I don't want to say like, but somebody mental is really not all the way there. They have some sort of, that's why that caution card here. Somebody going to try to blackmail you. With this blackmailing caution, you could get a new job. This person could try to um, deframe your character. But what they don't, y'all ain't see fucking Cardi B um, win um, that soon with Tasha K for defamation of character. So go ahead and start talking shit. And even if it is the truth, oh fucking well, it's still going to be karma. But if somebody come and lying, because that's what I picked up. Because they, they they don't got it there. They're going to be getting sued for defamation of character. And they don't have shit already. So I advise them not to do that. And if they do got something, they won't have it for long. But somebody is upset. Somebody is upset. Let's see what else come out. Yeah, this person mental is not there with that copycat caution therapist and obsession. Oh no, you ain't gonna tell me this person ain't bugged out. Shook skeletons. I'm t <laughs> it's not funny. Y'all, it's not funny because shit like this, you don't take it serious. You can't even laugh at this motherfucker because they they so bugged out like they would snap. You can't laugh at this motherfucker. It's not funny. But some shit finna come out. It's like, I'm laughing because it's like, you dead ass. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Telling you with this shook. It says the information or the situation may leave you shook. Secrets are being are, are about to be revealed. Dumb secrets, dumb skeletons is what's about to leave you fucking shook up top. I'm telling you, y'all, guard yourself. Guard your fucking self, though. I'm laughing and shit like that. It ain't funny, though. You know how people be having this complex where they laugh when shit is dead at serious? That's really it. Like, don't take what I'm saying too lightly. Like, especially if the story resonates and you know what's going on. Somebody is fucking sick in the head. I'm hearing Bellevue. Somebody may, I don't know if people who watch me is from the city. I don't know. But Bellevue is like a um, a mental institution, a hospital for crazy people. Signs and symbols. Yeah. Addiction, dead. Somebody may even overdose. Ooh, I'm hearing spirits say before. Ooh, I ain't gonna even say that. I ain't even gonna say that. I ain't mm -mm. Yeah, but you're being guided right now. With this signs and symbols and angel numbers. You're being guided right now. Damn, desires came back out. Somebody is... Yeah, see, somebody really desired your life. You got desire, muse... And leveling up, life purpose, access denied. Yeah, this, see, this person can't fuck with you, if, if even if they wanted to. Okay, you leveling up in life because this is your life purpose. This is what you was destined to do. This is what was destined for you. And see, I feel like somebody tried to stop that. But... That's crazy. It's really not even funny how mentally unstable this person is, though. Yeah, they think you're pretending you don't care. I'm telling you, I feel like the fact that you ignore, not that you ignore, but it's like, it's not that you're pretending that you don't care. A lot of shit you didn't fucking know. And it's like what you do know, that's what spirit wanted you to know Like at that point in time. I feel like somebody feel like you on some Miss Cleo shit. Like you just know everything. No. 
spirit high certain the same people who when you have gifts or shit like that you get downloads or whatever you don't know everything even if you play with tarot i mean cards or pendulum or if you it's not meant for you to know right now guess what you will not fucking know so it's not about pretending that you don't care or whatever the fuck. And it's like what you do know is like you don't have no control over it. So why would you try to, you know, control the situation? No, fuck that. Everything going to happen when it's supposed to happen. And I feel like that's what really got this, this person or these people really tripping. Because they expecting you to react a certain way. And it's like, how could I react with something I know nothing about? And I feel like you not knowing shit is really what helped you in the situation. Somebody really didn't know nothing about what was going on. It was a lot of fraud and shit that took place. People could have even tried to pin you on something to get you arrested. Anyway, I am meant to shine. I am of importance. Okay, people try to dim your light, try to stop you from succeeding in more ways than one. But when something meant for you, that shit gonna be meant for you. I let go of the feeling of being discontent. It's a difference between doing nothing and being still. It's the time when spirit gonna have you sit that ass down and you may be feeling like, damn, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing enough. What is? It's nothing left for you to do. You've done all that you can. Now let the most high do the rest. It comes to a point in that. No matter how slow, how stagnant shit may seem or look, it's for a better good. As long as you know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing on your end. Even if you feel like it ain't enough, keep doing what it is that you're doing. You got good karma coming your way. Love. I release any past hurt. I am healed. My finances are growing rapidly in abundance. Yeah, people want to think you don't care. It's not it, what you do know. It's like you forgave yourself. You forgave others for that shit. And you moved on. Somebody wants you to be bitter about something that happened. And it's like, why would you be? Let's get one more. Okay, you got two. Wow. I learned tough lessons in self-love and dream call. I'm telling you, you got good shit coming your way. Things that, that you've been wanting or just envisioning yourself. Envisioning, that's what I'm envisioning yourself having the shit that you want. Because you're about to have a way to get it. Like, for real. You got, it's crowded and competitive, but you have a spark. Yeah, see, it's something that you have that is not in nobody else. You're unique. Everybody is here to do something different. I don't give a fuck how many people is doing the same shit as you. If that was your purpose to do that shit, guess what? It's going to be somebody there who need what the fuck you got. Period. Period. It's like you found time to be happy and, and learning yourself. You needed that time to be alone. When people thought they was doing something by putting you in solitude or making you feel, you know, like isolated and alone. No, that was that was for your greater good. So you could find your happiness by your damn self. Yeah. Now you got good news is here. Good shit is coming for you. I feel like you somebody who's all the way tapped in now. You took that time to learn about yourself, who you are, find your life purpose. Nobody cannot stop that. I don't give a fuck how crazy they, they want to act or think they acted. They're going to find themselves in a mental institution. That's all. But... They can't stop you from forward movement, period, okay? So that is the read that I have for you all, and until next time.